So today we will see how to create a URL or deploy your Flask application simply and get a URL which you can use as an API in any application you want. So there are certain steps which we will follow. And if you are new to this channel, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you are clueless about this video, so this video is a second part of the previous video which I created where we deploy and create a machine learning model. We export it as a pickle file and then we create a URL using Flask to create a simple API system for our machine learning model. Now in this video, I will deploy this model. So we get a deployed URL link which we can use to create API calls to instead of running it on our local environment. So few steps which we will require here is first we'll have to deploy this to uh, uh, store this in a git repository. So we will need a git repository for this. Then we will also need a requirements.txt file which will have all the dependencies our Flask application require. So the current dependencies which we require are Flask, scikit-learn and the pickle libraries and their individual dependencies which we will install by Python. After all this, we will create a virtual environment first. So we only take in those libraries which we require. Now if you don't know how to create a virtual environment, I will just show you. I will first increase the appearance. So to create a virtual environment, we will use a library called as VENV, which simplifies process of creating virtual environment in Python. To do this, all we need to do is type Python space colon M space VENV, VENV and the name of the virtual environment. You can keep it anything you want. I will just keep it VNV for simplicity. If I do this, it will create a virtual environment for me and it will uh, create a virtual environment for me. As you can see, a virtual environment is getting formed here, which will include things like uh, the include folder lib scripts. To activate this virtual environment after this gets installed, we have to go to VNV scripts and start the activate function in the VNV. It will be available after it gets downloaded. So as you can see, our VNV is installed. Now to activate the virtual environment, all we will do is we'll write VNV scripts and the activate command in the scripts folder. Doing this, our virtual environment will get activated. You will be able to see that all the files are getting, uh, it will be stored in virtual environment. Now, if I write my Python main.py now, it will give me an error that this module does not exist. This is because in our virtual environment, these libraries are not installed. To install these libraries, I will just go here and write flask pip. Then we are using scikit-learn. So we will write scikit-learn pip. After we go there, we will see what command is used to install these libraries and we will install. Them. Now scikit-learn is using pip install scikit-learn. I will copy this code. Then flask I think is uh, pip install flask. Yeah. So what I will do is I will write pip install scikit-learn space and flask. Using this our scikit-learn and flask libraries will get installed in our virtual environment. After which we will be able to run our main.py code again. So as you can see it is installing the related dependencies which they require as well. Now we will wait till these get installed. As you can see, our libraries gets installed. And after this, if we run the Python main.py again, we will be able to see these files and our program which should hopefully run. As you can see, our program gets clearly running and if I go to this site, I'll get the hello world. After this, before we deploy it onto GitHub, we need to uh, convert this VNV and add it to git ignore. Dot git ignore is the file name. Using this, the files which are inside the VNV folder will get ignored while pushing it to the git repository. So I will add VNV. 
then we need to add the libraries and their version number in the requirements of txt file now requirements of txt file is a gateway for the online hosting platform which will see all the libraries required and install them now simple way to write all your required libraries in this is to use a command called pip freeze pip freeze the greater than colon and write the file name which is requirements.txt you can name it anything but a general convention is to write requirements.txt and if I enter it will write and update the files which are required for our program so as you can see our requirements.txt file gets updated after this we will have to store this in a git repository to do that using vs code I can directly go to the source control and initialize a repository I will directly publish it to github and I will store it in a private repository let's say ml deployment trial ok I will publish this so as you can see all this file gets published on my git repository After it gets gives me a notification it is deployed, I will go on my git repository and you can see that all these files are here. So now to create and deploy this, we will use a platform called as render. I'll just go here render. So it's a cloud application hosting for developers. Its URL is render.com. If you'll go here, you will see this. You need to sign up in this application, which is absolutely free. After you do this, you can go to the dashboard of this section and after you go to the dashboard, you will have to log in here. I will log in once again. I am signing it with my Google account. As you can see, I have tried deploying various applications and they are very successful. After you go to the dashboard of render, you need to create, click on this new button and click on a web service. So a web service will be able to deploy a Flask application. So we will select the build and deploy from a Git repository. Then we will connect it with a repository. So I will just go here. Just give it some access. After this, uh, you can select the repository you want to give the permission to. I have just created a repository called ML Deployment. ML Deployment trial like this, and I will give it some access. After doing this, it will directly take me back to the render where I'll be able to see my newly created Git repository. After this, I will click on the connect button. I will give it some unique name. Let's say I give it ML deployment trial new. I have already used this before. So to create something region, keep it as it is given. The branch is the Git branch, which you are using, which is main in our case. So it will keep it as main root directory. Now this specifies which directory to look into in our Git repository. We have just created in the uh, source of the repository so we will just keep it as it is the runtime is python 3 now build command here is python install requirements.txt now if you have named your txt file as something else you will have to change the name here as i have kept it mine as requirements.txt i will keep it as it is now start command now start command is basically the application how will it run on the gunicon server now this is basically your name of this file which is containing your flask application as i have kept the name of my file as main.py i will write gunicon main app if you have named your file as anything else let's say app then you'll have to write gunicon app colon app so this will tell the server that my main.py file is my flask application then instance i will create a free instance and if you have any environmental variables you can add them here and I will just write create a web service. It will take some time to deploy and you will be able to see all the logs which are there here. 
once it is deployed you will be able to see that it is successfully deployed so let's see how you, if there are any errors in deployment you will be able to see those errors here and then you can revert back and solve those errors and solve some bugs which you have so as you are seeing this is uh, installing the requirements.txt libraries and after this it was uploading the build it will take some time to create this build and it is taking more time for me as my CPU is occupied deploying deploying yeah. it is successfully deployed and is selling, showing me build successfully so if you guys are sticking till here then I would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can get more such contents for you and if I go on to this link right here it will give me the it should give me the hello world which is the output of our you know our source URL so guys we have successfully deployed and uh, deployed a flask application on render so if you enjoyed this video thank you for watching do share this video so it can reach all your friends and all the people who might need this video thank you for watching do comment down below what you would like me to create next and what are the things which i can improve 